The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Afghanistan Engineer District North recently took on the challenge of providing more than 6,000 up-to-date engineering books to war-torn Kabul University's engineering department. Building um, capacity specifically in engineering and construction led us to the universities and the first one we went to was Kabul University and we talked to the um, faculty, talked to the dean at the engineering department uh, faculty of engineering and said, you know, how can we help you? And it's just a, uh, a real sad story there. I mean, this used to be a premier engineering uh, institute in the region. At a cost of nearly $1 million, the new books will provide a fresh start for the university, which has been using outdated textbooks and photocopies to supplement the students' learning. Uh, let me thank the Corps of Engineering to provide us such an opportunity to learn, to bring us books, new books. The Corps will also be taking on the mission of upgrading the dilapidated engineering department's electricity and heating units, as well as providing the college with new laboratories. This is, you know, kind of the big picture strategy for how do we create the profession, how the, 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 those capable next generation of engineers. And, uh, and bring them into this equation so that we can finish the mission, transition over to the Afghans, and have confidence that they can take it from here. And in the future, uh, we want to work here in Afghanistan because it's our country, yes. it's our homeland. <laughs> The Corps of Engineers has plans to extend the capacity development book program to all the universities with engineer colleges in Afghanistan. That's 10 universities total. Because these books are very, very new, and so we will have the new knowledge, not the old knowledge. LaDonna Davis, Kabul, Afghanistan.